Okay, uh, our next presenter is Phạm Mai Phương. She going to present to us the topic, research on the use of satisfaction of the Vietnam e-commerce customer in the context of the COVID-19 epidemic. The emergence of the COVID-19 has had a major impact, not only in the health sector, but also on the economy, including economic activity, related to the process of purchasing goods or services. The condition of the COVID-19, followed by the implementation of the social distancing led to new customer behavior in determining purchasing pattern. Consumers are now using online tools and are increasing looking for online channel to search and buy the products or services they need. This also makes competition between e-commerce company more stringent. The upcoming presentation will provide some suggestions for e-commerce companies to increase customer satisfaction, to maintain and even increase the online buying and selling transaction. This interesting topic will be delivered by Phạm Mai Phương. Phạm Mai Phương, please. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Phạm Mai Phương from Class B of International Business Faculty. First of all, I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Chen Ngoc Mai and all lecturers of Faculty of International Business for supporting me from the beginning of my university years. To begin with, I want you to think about the e-commerce platform that you use the most and ask yourself a simple question. Why do you want to stick with it? Uh, after my presentation, you may find your answer. Uh, my my bachelor thesis with the title Research on the Use and the Satisfaction of Vietnamese e-commerce com customer in the context of COVID-19 epidemic. The research had five sections, include introduction, chapter one, the theoretical basis, chapter two, the current situation on the use of Vietnamese e-commerce customer in the context of COVID-19 epidemic, chapter three, the solution to improve customer satisfaction using e-commerce in Vietnam. And the last one, the conclusion. The first thing I want to present is the reason why I choose this topic. The COVID-19 epidemic has made consumers change their consumption habit from traditional to online shopping through e-commerce platforms. These opportunities for Vietnam e-commerce section develop and get more profit. On the other hand, it is undeniable that the effect of customer satisfaction is really essential to the success of the e-commerce platform. While I researched the literature review, I admitted that the domestic study often focused on the customer in a particular geographical area, thereby providing specific analysis and solution for that case only. So this is a gap research I had found and decided to carry out my research. Next is the chapter one, theoretical basis. In this chapter, we approach the overview of the use and satisfaction of customer using e-commerce and the research model. As you can see on the screen, there are definition of e-commerce and customer satisfaction. The role of analyzing customer satisfaction is that the seller can divide their customer into groups with different satisfaction level. Then they will have the specific of approach and strategy for each group to maximize customer satisfaction. In my study, I would based on the previous research model by Dylan and McLean in 2003. However, focused in mainly on the relationship among the system quality, information quality, and the service quality with the user satisfaction. And we have the hypothesis on three elements that it has a positive effect on the user satisfaction. We're moving to the chapter two. Uh, we have the closer look on the current situation on the use and satisfaction of Vietnam e-commerce customer in the context of COVID-19 epidemic. So it's starting from the end of 2019 in Wuhan city, Hubei province, China, the COVID-19 spread rapidly in 2020, recorded with over 150 million infection and more than 3 million dead. And in Vietnam, 
with nearly 3,000 infections in country and 35 deaths, uh, according to the information until the April 20, 27, 2021. The COVID-19 epidemic has made it difficult for the business to reach customers due to the isolation order blocking, disrupting the supply chain and using labor, additional costs for COVID-19 prevention. But among that, according to the data of e Economy C 2020 report, reported by Google, Vietnam e-commerce market is worth 7 billion USD. The growth rate is 46% compared to the last year, and which is the highest level in the last three years. The proportion of revenue from e-commerce over the total retail sale nationwide in 2020 is 5.5%. City one of the good conditions for retail and small businesses carry out selling activities through e-commerce platform. Now we move to the data description. The scale are presented through the survey questionnaire. In one month due to the COVID situation, the survey received only 1990 answers on Google from, from 67 female and 23 males, mostly in young age under 22 years old. From the survey, consumers often use e-commerce applications less than 20 minutes once they open the app. And most of the survey subjects have a low income, including 65 people with an average monthly income less than 5 million Vietnam dong. More than half of the survey respondents only accept their e-commerce application to, from one to two times per week, and nearly 86% people made less than three transitions weekly. So in conclude, the concentrated sample is most student is mostly students with income below 5 million Vietnam dong and mainly female e-commerce users. From the result in the analysis table, factor information quality has the strongest impact on the dependent variable satisfaction. When the information quality increased by one unit, the customer satisfaction also improved by nearly 52%. Follow after that, by the service quality, and lastly is the system quality. Although the e-commerce section in Vietnam has suffered from COVID-19, we gained some remarkable achievements, such as the number of the people used e-commerce growth significantly, and the growth of the e-commerce market uh, in Vietnam in is double digits uh, during the COVID-19 epidemic. So uh, besides what we gained, there are five difficulties that we need to deal with in the future. The first of all is a market, the e-commerce market. Uh, also create a host screening for the small and medium enterprises, unsafety and unsecurity network for both businesses and consumer. The customers still prefer to use the COD payment method, which means the uh, cost on delivery. Transport, transport infrastructure is still limited and last one is a lack of human resources, specialized in e-commerce and logistics. The reason for the difficulty uh, that I presented before as well on the slide. Now to solve the, pro to solve the problem, we need to move to the chapter three, solution to improve customer satisfaction using e-commerce in Vietnam. Here are some solutions that I suggested to deal with the difficulties. First is a promulgate regulation. The second is issue law. The third one is co cooperate with online payment acceptance agency. The fourth one is develop the logistic service. And in my opinion, I think it is the most important solution because the efficiency of logistic has a major effect on the success of e-commerce company. As a last solution, it develop human resource training activities. The recommendation for the government mostly focused on setting the framework, issue legal documents and policy to protect the customer interest and also create the environment for the enterprises join the e-commerce platforms. For the user, for the users, they need to be wise and more responsible for their choices. 
and uh, they need to be more active to communicate with the seller to have a better experience on the e-commerce platform. For the business, uh, e-commerce businesses need to work hard to gain the customer satisfaction. Some recommend for the business comprise tighten information quality issue with the seller, raising user position, increased cost back discount in the e-commerce platform, and the last one in hand advertising on other social media platform. Because of the information quality is the most effective factor to the customer satisfaction, the e e-commerce platform need to create the trust and the loyalty to the customer. In the conclusion, I will summary, summarize the, um, the research model. Customer satisfaction is affected by three elements, the system quality, the information quality, and the service quality. And there is some limitations that need to be overcome to be more completely in the future. Um, the first the first limitation is the number of the response is limited due to the time and the survey cost. Secondly, the research model is quite simple. And from the above limitation, some future research directions, such as the appending the scope of the research and add more variable to make the research more representative. Thank you for your attention, and I'm pleased to hear your comments and your question about my presentation. Wow, thank you very much for your presentation. It is very nice presentation. Uh, uh, your slideshow is professional, and the way you explain the content uh, say that you understand the topic deeply, and everything, every content from the uh, job presentation, uh, very clear for me at least. And um, in order to evaluate you exactly, um, I have a question for you. Uh, the, my question is, the result of your uh, research model show that uh, information quality has the greatest impact on customer, uh, customer satisfaction, right? Yeah. Uh, can you make it more clear what information quality is and what are some simple ways that e-commerce firms can do to improve their customer satisfa uh, satisfaction? Uh, is there anything need to be uh, repeated or clarified? Clear for you? No, thank you. I hear it very clearly. Okay. So now listen to uh, some questions from other members, please. Okay. Thank you, Mark Vương. And uh, I also have a questions for you. Uh, social distancing has made buying and selling online a convenient option to meet the needs of goods and services and contribute to the growth uh, of global e-commerce. Do you think these trends will continue after the COVID-19 pandemic? Okay, so thank you for your question uh, and your comment too. So I will answer the first question. According to the research on information system modeling, uh, of Dylan and Maclean uh, in 1992. The information quality is defined as the quality of the system output. In other words, it is the quality of information that reaches the user of e-commerce. And uh, some simple ways that e-commerce firm can do to improve their customer satisfaction. And I think it's either every e-commerce platform should tighten the information quality issue with the seller, such as they can make the policy for all the wholesale and the retail want to join the e-commerce. And uh, the important thing is that they can develop the information quality management department to control, the, uh, to control and approve the information before public it to the customer. And for the second question, uh, yes, I think uh, is it. Uh, I, I think the online shopping chain absolutely. Uh, will uh, happen after the COVID-19 has passed because now we are living in the 
technology and digitalized area era. So and uh, in the fourth industry revolution, so people can get access to internet uh, everywhere and anytime. And besides it, the online shopping have proved have pro is convenient and suitable for the busy life in modern society. So I think this trend must be developed develop more in the future and even the epidemic has end. Is that all my answer? Mm, okay. Um, based on my knowledge about the um, current movements of the global e-commerce, uh, I think that your answers about the uh, developing trends of the uh, online trading as well as the solution to suggest to uh, Vietnam is quite reasonable. Uh, you had an uh, excellent performance. Thank you. Thank you.